Lyon has long been an economic powerhouse in France, from making a fortune in the medieval silk trade, to the invention of the cinema by the city's Lumiere brothers, to the modern day bioscience industry. Lyon claims the diversity of its business sectors has made it what it is, and also helps shield it against the gusting headwinds of recent financial crises. Now, industrious Lyon is preparing for the next phase of its economic life, as it tries not just to keep up with, but keep ahead of the game. It is investing heavily in the smart city concept. With international partners offering cash and expertise, and with the guidance of local stakeholders having their say, Lyon is transforming itself. Lyon's answer to this emerging concept is to create a cleaner, greener city based on sustainable energy sources. It will harness and develop new technologies to achieve this. The city will also take a more holistic view of urban development to lift citizens' quality of life through the creation of more public spaces and facilities for them to enjoy. Hi, I'm Shane Croucher of Ivy Times UK and I've come to Lyon in France to speak with Karine donyan sous Vice President for Innovation at the local authority Greater Lyon, to speak with her about what's going on in the city and why it's important. The main objective for us is to make sure that this um, already uh, existing asset can help us uh, to have a great position on new emerging segments that offer us uh, robotic, uh, smart energy, clean technology, digital, all kind of things. And we think that to achieve that, we obviously have to leverage this local asset, but also open urban planning to a large-scale project and experimentation that can help various um, stakeholders or uh, players from diverse uh, universe to cross their expertise to create that new uh, segment. We are also looking from that innovation at the, at the scale of the experience of the city, uh, which is the other part uh, that we want to achieve. We want to create in Lyon a very special and unique lifestyle uh, that can um, be profitable uh, for the population that live here, but that can also attract, obviously, new people. Mm -hmm. So why is that important to do that? Why, why do you want to innovate and be leading in innovation? Uh, it's important because we think that we have a strong contribution to bring in what we call over here a new form of economic growth. It's really a challenge um, for everyone, but more especially for cities. We're in a world of cities. And um, again, uh, Lyon has a so strong uh, heritage. Um, we are the first pole uh, in terms of industry in France. And we look forward, really, um, look the future with desire uh, and we are sure that during this period that is so uh, special we're in the transition period uh, we have a lot of challenges in front of us but these challenges that uh, are about how to use better energy uh, how to manage the densification of uh, urban environment um, all these challenges are opportunities for innovation the flagship development in this vision is taking place in the Confluence District, an old gruff industrial area on the city's peninsula where the two rivers, the Rhone and the Seine, meet each other. The city wants the Confluence District to transform from wasteland to promised land. There are new homes, 25% of them for social tenants, new office space, new parks and leisure centres, schools as well as cultural hubs such as the Sucre Art Gallery housed in an old sugar factory on the riverbanks. Everything is developed with a sustainable smart city concept in mind. Benoit Bardé, Head of Communications for the Confluence Project, told us about the work that's going on in the former industrial area of the city. For the first part, we are aiming to finish uh, in 2016 or 17. Uh, it's about uh, 1.2 billion euros. And from 1.2 billion euros, you have almost uh, 1 billion private investments and between two and 300 um, public investments. And what has the Lyon population thought about the project? How have they reacted to what's happening here? I think today uh, Lyon's population is very proud of this district. 
I know that many people invite people from abroad or from Paris or Marseille to visit the place and go to the restaurant and have a walk because it's uh, of course the place to show. It was a very important uh, decision to preserve a part of the industrial history of Lyon. I think it's uh, the identity of our city to make it uh, possible to preserve and to renovate uh, these uh, buildings is um, a part of um, the structure of the new urban uh, pro project. So it, it's possible if you have uh, ideas and it's possible if the buildings are able to uh, to be uh, renovated. And we, we, we made it possible, yes. It is unsurprising to discover a Japanese hand in the development of the smart community, given the country's notoriety in the realm of cutting-edge technologies. The Japanese public organisation NADO has pumped 50 million euros into the conference project. So what is NADO? We spoke to Christophe de Bouy, a project coordinator for NADO, about what the organisation is doing in the city of Lyon. Uh, NEDO is uh, the public Japanese um, organization in charge of uh, promoting research and development and demonstration uh, activities uh, in the fields of new energies at large, uh, from hydrogen to PV to wind, wind farms, and also environmental technologies such as recycling and industrial technologies um, and biotechnologies mostly and nanotech as well. Mm -hmm. And what exactly is it you're doing with those technologies in Lyon? So um, we have, uh, we now have a, a partnership with uh, Grand Lyon, uh, the, the local authority. Um, that partnership <coughs> was signed two years ago uh, in order to implement a demonstration project of what we call a smart community. Uh, which is slightly different to what is often referred to as a smart grid. Uh, we don't only focus on the grid aspect, but on the, um, the concept of community at large, which means that within this project, we not only demonstrate the usage of energy efficient technologies or ICT applied to clean transport, but also uh, we have uh, we place uh, a great focus on the behavioral change by the people in this area and in Grand Lyon at large in order to um, uh, use these technologies uh, not only uh, in their daily life, but also as far as this district is concerned in a, in a larger vision and long-term future vision uh, of a sustainable development uh, oriented um, urban planning, which is the policy of Grand Lyon. It might seem strange that Japanese taxpayers would be invested in developing new technology for a European city, but it allows the Asian country's industry a platform from which to innovate, test out its technology in new markets and on new people, and show off what these firms can do in the hope of winning business elsewhere. All of this, of course, filters back to the Japanese economy. One of the Japanese firms involved in the conference project, which hopes to use the work it's doing in Lyon as a springboard onto commercial opportunities elsewhere, is Toshiba. So what Toshiba is doing in Lyon is the management of Lyon Smart Community Project. So Toshiba has, has been commissioned by NIDO, so the Japanese agency, to manage the overall um, Lyon Smart Community Project. And uh, our role is to, our aim is to provide new eco-saving technologies to Lyon Smart Community Project. And uh, for example, so as you know, we have uh, four tasks for Lyon Smart Community Project. And for instance, there is Shikali building. Shikali, in Japanese, Shikali means natural light. And um, so this is a group of en positive energy buildings. So uh, positive energy buildings means that uh, this is a building uh, that produces more energy than it consumes. The Confluence project is just one part of what's going on in Lyon as the city redefines itself. 
An important part of this reshaping of the city is to reclaim land for public use and enjoyment to create a better standard of living. As well as economic development in the city, there's also been some cultural development. We spoke to Nadine Jalas, Vice President of the Greater Leon Local Authority, about the Reeve to Sown project, which is attempting to reconnect the local people with the river through a series of art installations along the banks. Alors, le projet Reeve de Sown est un projet d'aménagement des bords de Sown, de reconquête de la rivière, à laquelle euh, on avait plutôt tourné le dos jusqu'à aujourd'hui. Donc, un projet d'aménagement et en même temps un projet d'art public, d'art implanté dans l'espace public. As a city, Lyon has grand ambitions. It is hoping to become a European, perhaps even world leader, in the smart city concept. It can only achieve this with the support of foreign investment, something it is trying to attract more of and is using the development of areas such as the Confluence District to build these bridges with the international community. Jacques de Chilly, Executive Director of Invest in Lyon, spoke to us about why he thought people should put money into the city. We do have the ambition to, to transform Lyon into a major European city, to, to, to make Lyon more international and, and therefore for us to attract new investment is new, not only to attract new technologies, new innovations that those foreign investment are bringing, but also to give a more international touch, a more international dimension to our city. So really to, to open our city to the world and to the world of new innovation and new technologies. And what would that mean for the local economy? More jobs presumably, a lot more money flowing yeah. into the shops? Around. Exactly. Well, these, these new international companies provide about 3,000 3, 3, new jobs per year, which is important for the city and for the creation of jobs. But, but they also provide a new attractiveness to the city. When companies uh, everywhere in Europe or in the world know that Toshiba is investing in Lyon or that other American Chinese firms are investing, uh, it, it's that proof that we are a good location for foreign investment and it's attractive for other type of investment.